Hey everybody, Blue Waters here again. Thanks for joining. Uh, today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take one of these plants and move it to a smaller tank. Um, it does take a little bit of finesse, um, so uh, we're gonna try that today and try not to make a huge mess. Make sure you go nice and slow, because I've got dirt underneath this. If I stir up the dirt too much, we'll just make a mess. Look at that, nice and easy. Beautiful plant. I'm going to replant this into a different tank. So what I do now is I take the water that I already got from the other tank, we dip it in there. Clean it off a little bit. Now this is another tank. It's a smaller tank. Um, I do want to keep this. Or Anne wants to keep this and make that a focal point. But today, in order for me to get this larger plant in here, I'm going to be taking a lot of this bulk out. All this Ludwigia. And when I take that out, I put it into another bucket of water or pail of water that came from the place where they're going. So I'm going to start just very slowly taking these out also. These don't have a huge root like the others do, so they're not going to be as hard to take out. They won't be making too much of a mess. And if I do make a big mess, I can just vacuum it and do a water change today, but I don't think that's going to happen because they seem to be coming out quite nicely. No huge roots since they haven't been planted in here for a long time. So, well, there's a nice big root. I'm going to actually take all of this from the front so that the new plant can be a focal point since we've got this as a focal point and it's kind of a little bit off to the right of a focal point so we want to get something towards the rear to give it a little bit more depth look at that that's a lot of plants right there so what i do is i grab the other pail of the water where it's going mix it up a little bit all right i got most of that out of there well, I got all of it out, so I did make a bit of a mess. There is, there was some dirt that came up, but that's okay. So I've got the other plant. Check it out, see what it looks like under there. That's gonna look great. Look at that, that's beautiful. So that's gonna get pretty big. So what I wanna do is make sure it has enough room to grow. So I'm gonna grab onto the roots. I'm not gonna cut these roots. Normally you should, but these, these are really healthy, good looking roots. I'm just gonna, Pinch them a little bit. Use my hands to get the the, the other uh, pieces of pebbles and stuff around there. And that's planted. And that's going to grow pretty huge since that's, that's probably about three months growth and they were just little tweensy things. Oh my god. I'm, so that's how you replant something and I'm going to actually put some more white uh, more white and the pebbles down there. I think it'll look a lot better. Yeah, I think you can see a little bit. I actually put some more rocks in to give it a grade that goes up towards the back. That gives it more uh, dimension also. But I still feel like there's a little bit of emptiness over here that I'm going to have to play with. Let's see how... That's a big, huge area. So, that looks good. That's... That's where we planted just now, and we'll keep that guy there. I think I'm going to take out all that Sprite back there, just so we can give the fish a little bit more room. Okay, I removed all that Sprite that was back here, most of it. And I think that looks a little bit cleaner. Um, this is Anne's tank, and she really doesn't like it this clean, so we'll see what happens when she comes home. She should be home shortly, actually. 
So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit more. You can see how it still looks a little... Uh, it's got a lot of stuff, a lot of particles floating around in it. But that'll all settle with probably about an hour. And with the UV sterilizer going, that'll clean it up a little bit fast also. And this is a pretty good filter, so that'll... It does like, jeez, uh, I think 50 gallons uh, an hour. Cleans 50 gallons an hour, something like that. So this should be all cleaned out and good looking in no time. So that's how you replant something. It's very easy. Uh, it took me no time at all. It it was a quick, very quick thing you can do because you, this you can put off for a little while. Like over here, I've got a whole bucket full of, uh, let's see if you can't even see that yet. I've got, a, <laughs> I've got a whole bucket full of stuff. I just dumped it all over the floor. I've got a whole bucket full of stuff that I still have to um, plant. So I can leave that for <laughs> whenever I want, really. I can just leave it in there or I can or I can dump it on the floor. <laughs> okay, everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Take good care of yourself. Um, don't hurt yourself, but do something that you're going to have a good time doing and that you'll be successful at. You know, like I always say, little teeny baby steps, you know. Even if it's just, okay, I'm going to get out something to crochet today. Just get the what you need out. Just doing that sometimes is hard enough, getting all your gear out. So that would be a success, you know. Or if you're going to be taking your dog for a walk, that's a huge success. Um, maybe playing with a cat, feed your cat, that's a huge success. I know these are really super small things to most people, but these are huge things to us. And so if you can do even just the smallest of things, just have some success in your day. I think that's really important. It's important for me to have success every day. That way I'm not feeling like I'm not contributing to anything anywhere. You know, I'm helping myself and I'm having a good time doing it. So right now I'm probably pretty beat because I just did that. Um, like I'm probably going to, you know, have to go and take some medication. Like sometimes we all do when we start feeling really, uh, like we're going downhill fast. So that's what I gotta do right now. And hopefully it'll snow soon so I'll be able to watch some snowfall. That'll be really nice. Get outside, don't forget to fill those lungs up. Uh, just five breaths, just five breaths. Deep ones, hold them. Whew. Let them out through your mouth. Just push it right out. That'll get rid of a lot of stress too, that helps. It's. I know it sounds silly, it's a little thing. Another little thing, but it'll help, okay? So I'm going to try to clean up this water that I just spilt all over the place. And I hope you guys have a great day. Be really good to yourself. We're not our pain. You're not your pain. You're a person. All right? Peace.